In this week's Parsha, we have the beautiful blessing that Yaakov gives to his two grandsons, Menashem and Ephraim. The blessing is one that Jewish parents give to their children every Friday night. They give to their sons. They bless them that they should be the sons like Menashem and Ephraim. And to the daughters, they bless them that they should be like the matriarchs, Sarah, Rivka, Rachel, and Leah. The question is, is why is, it, why is this so incongruent? Like, it should either be patriarch, matriarch, or if they're going to be like these two grandsons, why not name them bless the girls like they should be like the granddaughter of Asher, for example, who was a righteous woman? One answer is, is that Menashem and Ephraim, they have a certain quality that we want to bless our children with, which is that knowing in the, in the future that we were going to be going through many times of exile, many times of down, many times we would feel a disconnect. We'd be living among people who hate us and want to destroy us and who are telling us, you cannot be you, you can't be Jewish, you can't be you. So here we're telling, we're blessing our sons, you know what? Just like Menashe and Ephraim were born in Egypt, which was not Israel, they weren't around their family of righteous people, they didn't have tourist schools, they didn't have any kind of you know, access to resources, just like they were there in this land of impurity and still maintain their purity, their connection, their love and devotion to Torah and to God, so can you. Now the question is, okay, so what's the matriarchs? The matriarchs were born in families that were completely, totally disconnected. They were families that were corrupt. And despite how they were born, so the one is the, the nature, and now here we have the nurture. We're blessing our daughters that no matter where you come from, no matter what's going on, knows that you can rise above that and you can connect. You can be close to God. You can be close to the Torah. You can become the most beautiful, righteous woman that there are. Just like the matriarchs who were born in families where there was no morality, no values, and, and, and it was a families based on, on stealing and um, trickery, and they were the most upright, most beautiful women who brought light and, and are the examples of kindness and beauty in this world. And so too, so we, therefore we bless our children that they should have the strength, no matter what the nurture, no matter what the nature is, that we can always rhyme above it, we can always take and utilize our godliness, which is free choice, to be able to make the right choices and to connect. Shabbat Shalom.